just where my mind's stuck on grind, getting dizzy. If you down a ride by my side, then you with me. I ain't gotta lie, I got pride in my city, justified. Guess that's why I stay busy, work. So, uh, the extraction trailer. That's the only problem with these ones is you can't see the trailer. I gotta, like, link the trailer to you next time so we can watch the trailer together. But, uh... Yeah, the, the extraction trailer is a new Chris Hemsworth one. Oh yeah, I heard about that for Netflix, right? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it's coming out the twenty fourth this month. Okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it should be cool. Um, I'm excited for it. I don't know. Oh, <clears throat> must be time to do something, huh? Uh, I'm not sure. okay. I'm gonna grab my phone too. <laughs> <laughs> Holy man, there's the, the live subtitles work really good. Oh, there's subtitles. Oh, they put subtitles on these now, huh? There's no, on there? no, on the Facebook Live, it's subtitling. Yeah, on the Facebook? Oh, wow. Okay. Like, I'm watching it uh, on the fucking view screen for the share, and it's like. That's kind of. That's cool, but that pisses me off because my job can't build a goddamn machine that hears what I say, right? But. Facebook built it and it's live active, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um what was I gonna say then? Um so the uh extraction, I have I have not seen it yet. So what's kind of the premise about it a little bit? Um stream. Basically the premise, uh from what I saw at least, is that uh the you know, Chris Hemsworth is like a sad dude ex-military of some type i'm guessing and he's like the extractor so you send him in to pull somebody out and he's got to like go get this kid who's like the son of a drug lord who's fighting another drug lord and uh basically he he like lost his son i guess which is why he's sad which that's in the trailer and uh so they're they're all like yeah this kid's fucked you should just abandon the mission and he's <laughs> <laughs> and he's and so it's just like that one. So I mean, it's a cool one. I mean, it's de it's definitely an idea that's been done before, but it's something that I think is a good role for Chris Hemsworth. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But uh, and I mean, it's Netflix, man. They do stuff pretty good for yeah, the most part. Um, what was I just watching on Netflix the other day that I enjoyed? Um, I can't believe I watched it, but I watched it like everyone else did. That Tiger King documentary. I still that? no, I still haven't. I don't have time for that. <laughs> yeah, it, I I, watch, I just I had to see what everyone was making a fuss about. And I, was I like, mean, I'm sure it's there's funny. People like this, I'm like, I guess there is people that really. Is it, is, this is just like a like a cartoon. Character. Oh, it's definitely <laughs> like. <laughs> there, those people really exist because they watch cartoons. No, but uh. <laughs> That, oh. that, uh, I mean, my thing is I've seen a bunch of documentaries, so it's not, like, crazy of an idea to me, you know what I mean? Like, the, the, yeah. this thing. But I think it is funny that everyone, like, gets hooked on these common community culture things, you know what I mean? That that's suddenly a meme, and you either know the meme or you don't. And even if you don't know the meme because everyone's talking about it, you know what it's about or from. You just haven't seen the thing it's actually from. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, the, the memes are hilarious. The, the oh, one yeah. I thought was funny was uh, the one Adult Swim. They, somebody made a fan art of Rick and Morty. Oh, yeah. Was, <laughs> that was a pretty good one. There was a couple yeah, really um, good ones. I don't know. Yeah, I think there's... There's some funny ones. The, uh, the Hobbs yeah. and... Not Hobbs and Shop, but the, the cartoon one where it's the kid and his tiger. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I talk about, yeah. That one yeah. was pretty funny. They did one for that. Um... But I, I think it's interesting that they do stuff like that because now the new yeah. big thing on Netflix is always this, like, have you seen the crazy release Netflix released this week? Yeah, right. Just which like, what? Netflix did this? <laughs> which just reminds me of, like, I'm not that surprised because I remember, like, back in the day when me and you used to watch, like, Thanks Killing or whatever the fuck, the, the oh, turkey oh, one. Yes. Okay. Yes. I just like to watch... Crazy, dumb shit like no, that. no, it's, it's, it's yeah. Is. Sometimes it's so bad it's good. Like there's definitely yeah. many examples of that. Like, but I always think back to that, and I'm like, yeah, I'm not that surprised Netflix has you know does that because Netflix used to be like famous to find stuff like that where it's like, yeah, this is that indie film that no one else will even stock, but Netflix will yeah. stock it. Yeah. Now they're actually getting so much more like 
mainstream i feel like they're missing out on a lot of the little ones i mean there's still crazy little things you know what i mean mm -hmm. but uh well so what have you been watching then on your lockdown so oh then, god well, i'm not locked down i gotta work so <laughs> good oh, yeah wait, wait. Half, half lockdown. yeah half lockdown <laughs> Um, I've been watching, let's see, Ruby from Rooster Teeth because okay. I've been getting mad a lot. I'd always had been getting suggestions, but they're finally like, you need to watch it for your series. I'm like, fine, I'll watch it. It's got seven seasons. I'm already watching Red vs. Blue again. I might as well go yeah. through it. Uh, and I'm not... Have they new season, Red vs. Blue, yet? Oh, I don't know. I don't remember the last season they were on. I, I, I always buy the, the Blu-rays from, uh, Walmart. <laughs> Which, doing that. oh, they, I mean, they got pretty big. Once Rooster Teeth got really big, it was not a, like, a crazy thing to see it. It's on, like, Crunchyroll and a bunch of other places, which is where I'm watching it now. Uh, Tower of God, since it started coming out, which, it's fine. Oh, it oh yeah, it started on the first. Um, it's on episode two now. It's pretty good. I will say, and I think this is what the note a lot of people are going to get, is, like, it was, I wasn't that impressed. It's like... It's not like a one that you hop into the first episode and it's like, oh, this is amazing. It's, yeah, it's I a. Think, I it, think a lot of people, if they don't get hooked on that first episode, yeah. they're like, I'm not Which, gonna like the rest. Which this of it. one is not so bad, but the problem, and it's the not the exactly the same or different in the manga, but I think it was a little better done in the manga is like describing his character motivations, uh -huh. and the problem being is it's a good thing and a bad thing. They're going through it at a rate of like one to one or two to one manga chapter to episode mm -hmm. which can be good and bad especially considering they're like 60 page chapters for those manga but at the same time there's 300 plus chapters out currently so if you go at that pace one it'll take a long time to catch up but two some of the like long building stuff will take time to get to its point which is another big thing with like, I always compare it to One Piece. Like, it, it's really big, but it has a lot of long building stuff because of that. Like, they were, like, I just saw someone's YouTube breakdown the other day where they're, like, talking about longest weighted uh, discoveries of things that were just mm -hmm. general. And the one from One Piece is, like, it took 10 years from the original mention of this character, who's, like, a super minor character, to later when what they did and what they gave that person became important. And the best way to like describe it is like going into the first level of the video game and it's like oh here's a key but it doesn't open any doors and i have a limited inventory space should i keep the key but the key opens the secret door on the last level <laughs> and it's it's kind of like that where it's just like these super like long threads that have been planned from the very beginning or have been like sitting in the background mm -hmm. which are interesting and tower of god isn't like nearly as bad as one piece in that regard like it's usually pretty fairly yeah. quick i mean you have to for sure plan out your kind of whole thing. i mean like it's kind of like almost sounds like the thor run remember jason did his whole thing for yes like 10 years 10 years for, but to be fair in the, what jason, jason did that war of the realms oh like, god yeah, yeah. <laughs> well but the thing is he had like and that's why i wish they would structure him better because one we've talked about how you have to structure things differently for tv and comics and stuff because of yeah. release rate because of mm. ingestion rate you know like and that's what i meant for the anime is it should go a little faster than the comic does because it's going you have to watch it as opposed to reading it um yeah exactly. but what aaron did well with that run is he has mini arcs in there and the, and the other other series do too but like the, there's like a wave you know what i mean it goes up and down and up and down to the final climax at the very top of the roller coaster but in between you still had the gore the god butcher arc you had that you know what i mean all these things that tied into the end story king thor, king thor you had uh the future the the king granddaughters king of thor. thor yep whole big stuff that the, the, the there's a lot of things uh, happening yeah. yep but it all tied in and in the in the interim he still caught your attention you didn't have to wait 30 chapters for things to get interesting he made it interesting in the meantime and then put a long-standing story some good ones oh my like my favorite one was reading the unworthy thor yeah and unworthy third view is definitely i remember getting on that when i told you i was like man the ending on that one and you're like what do you mean i'm like man 
the tease though but at least we got the confirmation from like and that was another example of that where he like left that blank right. question so yes and they're famous on doing that for the same things like in uh, in anime and stuff they're very love to use that trope of like all right here's something but we're not gonna like actually show you because i remember it was in that one or another one no it was the black bull one where they did something similar but they actually wrote it in they just wrote it in so small you shouldn't be able to see it and people fucking took a microscope basically a digital and digitally enhanced it until they could read what he even said i remember and, they did that a couple of times yeah where i was trying to even read it too I was like i can't read that that's way too but seriously people took a microscope they did and went and saw it and spoiled it yeah it was such it was they were jerks but yeah. that's because of that that's why aaron's did the whole you know not actually saying and kind of left us on the because yeah. that was Fuck. i want to that was good six years probably i think it yeah, was that was original sin so when did the original sin 2008 yeah probably around that time and then we got and then we didn't get a resolution until 2017 or 2018 so it's more like 10 well let's see uh original sin was sorry i gotta put marvel as a qualifier uh oh 2014 i don't know what, maybe i'm thinking yeah. of uh maybe i was thinking of something else for 2008 and then unworthy thor 2017 that uh, mm -hmm. wasn't it wasn't as long as i thought yeah but that's still that's three really years good. yeah that's still a good amount of time especially for comics to wait like wolverine wasn't even dead that long yeah he only stayed dead for about a year until they well, I, we knew he was coming back. Then no one ever stays. The only person who ever stays dead so far is Captain Marvel, <laughs> and even then, like, the there's been is, uh, Gwen Stacy and Yep. Um, who else could say? I, a lot of Spider-Man characters seem to remain dead. <laughs> yeah, Gwen Stacy, Uncle Ben, uh, Jean the Wolf, whatever her name is. Uh, I mean, there's some side characters. We're talking like superheroes. But yeah, 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 superheroes, yeah. I'm just saying more Spider-Man seems to have a lot of... Uh, yeah, he was always that kind of, like, progressive comic book character who pushed <laughs> the line of, like, all right, well, this is new, and this now it's trending, bitch. Because, like, literally after they killed Gwen Stacy, then it was okay to, like, risk the lives of, like, the secondary... You know what I mean? And, they, and it got more gruesome on, like, I remember DC did that with, like, Wally West. Or no, it wasn't... It was Kyle Rayner, I think. I thought it was Wally West with the drugs. No, that that was Arsenal, uh, Speedy. Somebody was doing heroin. Wasn't yeah, that it? was Speedy. Okay, okay. Everyone thinks it was Wally because his name's Speedy, but that that was okay. it's actually uh, what's his name? God damn, I can't remember Arsenal's name. His real name. Um, nope, can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Don't care that much. Uh, Roy, Roy Harper. Um, okay. And to and they made it i can't remember how much of that was or wasn't canon that it was like a clone who was actually the, and that was why he was like dude yeah it was like it was weird um make it up. <laughs> he wasn't really him <laughs> yeah well no then it ended up it was him doing the drugs and he was doing the drugs yeah. because of the clone thing it was weird and then he had like lost an arm it was it was weird man like they yeah, they're always but, uh kind of a sp funny story i guess um i didn't know this but um when they killed gwen stacy I think in South America, they had their own uh, editor and publishing team out there and stuff that were doing the comics out there. And I guess they didn't like the idea of that. So oh, wow. She kept her alive and mm -hmm. their issues for a good amount of time. Um, and then eventually it all kind of fell apart, you know, the editor and she, and then they finally went back to the status quo over there and she's dead. And, but I, yeah, I kind of find that, I find that interesting because that would have required a lot of work to like edit her back in you would have had to draw her in or change vo text yeah, lines I that mentioned her I mean, it was no 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 i mean i'm sure it might be <laughs> it might be real because they do stuff like that all the time in like other yeah. countries where they'll change the original we do it all the time here in america where we change the source content i mean look at yeah. all of anime yeah, and the fact that they had no the mm -hmm. yep uh it just didn't let's not even start they with like yeah animal crossing over there did they really 
I mean, it's pretty. It's <laughs> people. For, there, there is some political stuff in it. There is some political <laughs> stuff in Animal. There's a lot of stuff in Animal Crossing that like crosses the border of like safe for kids and adults. I'm not gonna oh, lie. Really? Okay. Well, yeah, yeah, it is. It is infamous for stuff I like don't that. Get the concept of that. Like I watch trailers. And I'm like. Animal Crossing is like Sims. It's like okay. going through and it, yeah, it's like you go through. You have your own little fake life. Who, who care? You know what I mean? It's it's one of those things that people do to like de-stress or I guess maybe not like uh, Sims but more like kind of Minecraft like You have this own little world where even though you're not building or designing something You're like amassing stuff and interacting with peoples and things So it's like Sims and Minecraft you could probably say kind of there's a game there's a game that's like Animal Crossing, but uh, It's it's like a virtual simulator kind of thing That's the best way I can like describe it i always found it funny though that animal crossing had that strange like uh crossover with doom oh really did they have a that it's like not a crossover but like recently on the last two games because they released similarly like, there was a bunch of like here look up animal crossing and doom huh. uh and i you can even show it on the thing but like they did a bunch of like yeah Uh, that one's custom made, but they they did some stuff that was pretty funny. Yep. Polygon. How did Animal Crossing Isabel and the Doom guy become best friends? Oh yeah, I see that here. That's weird. It's it's a whole thing, dude. It's That's so funny. It is. It's a whole little like fandom that wants that because they were coming out on the same day so it just became a whole thing. Oh, that's what, okay, that's what it was. Yeah, I think it was, was, they, were both, like, they were both I think they were both releasing 320 and like people had to decide people were like i don't know which one to choose these people putting fan art with uh the dog horse oh horse yeah the saw shotgun and the doom guys oh and yeah yeah get him dude. get him shoot it yeah it's so great i love that oh my gosh yeah dude it was so funny i remember when that came through uh oh, speaking of <laughs> one guy put 320 2020 <laughs> yeah like i said there's a whole forums and stuff it's it was just an interesting concept you know what i mean yeah. like i was i wasn't uh like i wasn't mad at it how about that like and then it was it was so funny because there were all these memes going around like this is the real players of animal crossing it's just these like heavy metal heads with like blood streaming like just think war you know what i mean just like Bruh. and then it's like and these are the real doom players and it's just like a teacher with like school and glasses and like you know just like the pocket protector and it's like you gotta let outlet some ways man you gotta gotta find the way to express your other side it was so funny how that whole fuck thing came out but yeah i mean there's a bunch of good stuff coming out uh and on sale like i just bought my cousin some stuff off steam i guess for his birthday or something i can't remember already what i bought him but it should have been fun yeah um what else have i been, been reading catching up on so i finally caught up on walking dead um, oh nice you finished it then i told you that the ending was fine it, it wasn't like the uh, princess princess was cool yeah yeah. I like her character. I mean, I remember picking up the Walking Dead comic and she's like on the front cover. Yeah, she was an interesting. Uh, my thing was, she's just like, there was no development because she was, you know, I mean, she came in right at the end where it was like no time to really even develop her. But she was an interesting yeah, character. I, like, the way they played her is was like the weird, kind of eccentric off character. So she was interesting without having a bunch of like building of her backstory or like memorable dramatic emotional moments you know what i mean she was just memorable for being a quirky character mm -hmm. so yeah i i was kind of sad that walking dead ended but i'm i don't know i i think it was an okay ending it wasn't like an epic ending or a you know what i mean it felt like a little house on the prairie ending he really could i felt like he could i think he's just kind of done which is so funny because he said he was gonna keep going which i wish it had this had kept going and case closed it fucking ended for yeah i i heard he was actually i don't know if this is a true interview but i, I heard he was kind of uh sad a little bit that he did end it now and he, he wish he could bring it back now but i mean you, you could you, you he could, could do it you just do walking dead too yeah you could just do that. But the problem is, I think more than anything, is a tough skip. Yeah. Now he could just, yeah, the, they did the, yeah, because they had, oh man, even when it was going, they had the Negan runs, they had 
the tv show had its own spin-off i mean it was a popular title like he's gotten his like if he wanted to that it's one of those ones like star wars where he can make his own universe and never stop telling the stories especially after the telltale games or whatever yeah it, that like those really opened it up to have like this whole universe of characters and like yeah yeah there's just so many people out there that you could do a story on there's yep. no, you don't have to always follow this group no no yeah. yeah like you said and that i mean if you look at uh fear of the walking dead and you can see that that obviously works that one too. yeah been, that one's been pretty good too as well There's i've heard it's pretty decent connecting them right i heard yeah i heard that they they connect down in the line which i i never watched fear because i i stopped watching walking dead before that oh, i see yeah i i there was times i wanted to stop watching walking dead as well because there was episodes where it's just like what i don't know this is just the, the pacing but, is so different yeah, from the, the comic it's just kind of bad and but then like once you like the pacing's like, necessary point, yeah then it, then it started rolling through and we're like okay it's getting really interesting now, now the thing is into it now. yeah <laughs> it wasn't like the worst pacing it was just tv pacing which was the pacing yeah, of yeah. it comes out every week and so you need to keep people well, in suspense and too, on drama my mom we if so, we waited so long that we basically had the whole thing <laughs> which <laughs> right which i like doing but then i'm like sitting through these like dramatic tension moments that are supposed to be building up for the next week and i'm like i'm gonna watch it in five seconds and goddamn skip 20 minutes of fucking yeah. waiting of bullshit yeah. uh but besides that i mean it, there were definitely really good arcs and even like when i stopped i would come back and do another season or two because i'd be like oh i heard this was good or i it's like oh they got to this part relative to the comic so i want to go see megan you know what i mean so i was like yeah a lot of those stuff i just lost uh the will to keep watching Carl, honestly, though, in yeah the in the it, they made a lot of changes to the show that were good and then in the later seasons it wasn't even that they were bad they were just different so that they could align as closely with the comic i mean there were there were changes like that before like the fact that judith lived um and other Which stuff I like that love right it was a good fact one yeah of my favorite characters now in the show now yeah um uh, uh but i it was just like i said one of those things where like they wanted to make it different and they did which is cool because i mean it makes a surprise but then like i said i which is why i was so surprised you know sometimes you never think you're gonna get those big instances like the negan bat scene still being one of those big historic you know instances of comic to tv transference like you know i never thought we were gonna get that uh I, I adapted in that way that right yeah. yeah yeah that was the I thing i didn't you just show him getting hit once and then, and then yeah off camera and then maybe maybe show his brain battered a little bit off again and then go off camera again and that's it but they like they showed everything that oh yeah they focused and i was like wow this is brutal <laughs> yeah they really went for it on that one um and it was good like that was the thing but now because they've made such different changes after that you're not a lot of things can stay the same you know what i mean there is no possibility the tv show will ever sync up with the ending of the comic because carl's dead yeah. you know what i mean and the, yeah, the end dead. of the comic has carl not rick so it's it's just one of those things where it's fine and it's just different um mm -hmm. speaking of that we're kind of hitting on the time to go right. off just because we're running yeah. late today that's right that's um right, uh, any last minute things that you had then? Anything that you were um, liked? Man, like I said, I'm still just trying to catch up on everything in life. Like, every other day I fall behind, so then I have to f catch back up. Uh, lots of... I was catching back up on some of the manga, like trying to get my manga reading list and my comic reading list. That's really what I want to do in the next couple of days or weeks when I get back into reading is to get my list together to remember where i am on stuff and what i need to read so like i gotta get back i'm probably a chapter two behind on the immortal hulk which at least now when i catch up i'll be caught up you know what i mean yeah um i finally caught up with that one yeah i read their 200 and whatever 50th issue yeah yeah the because it was the anniversary which marvel kind of fucks with me when they do this stuff like that man like well, they, they already, do they already messed it up because the bloodying bleeding cool put up a post saying um that, uh the remember the war of the realms the yeah yeah so it has the same legacy number as the other uncanny x-men's uh book that was coming out that same time so they've already fucked up their, their they've record. always do that dude they're that even though they're good on continuity they're bad on uh numbering 
plain numbering. Yeah, I mean, I've heard for some comic uh, stores and, uh, like, the actual people that own them, they're like, I, I hate that, you know, they did the legacy thing, because they're like, they've a they added things that don't make sense to be added into the... To the listing, the, yeah. Um, yeah, to the numbering is what they're saying. It really so, doesn't, and but it's Marvel. They're well, not perfect. this missing, but this is added? In yeah, the they, then you'll be missing this or that and not the other... But yeah, it's definitely an interesting take. Uh, besides that, I mean, we were going to do some... See, we didn't cover too much, but we, we talked about some of the stuff that's been going on and out in the world. Not much has changed as far as updates. No yep, no movies. Uh, games have been coming out, but not really. Like, Final Fantasy Remake came out, I think. I wanted to play it, but I mean, I don't play the PlayStation too much. It's my son's console. I don't want to go grab his and hook it all up just to play it. Yeah. No, I understand. So, I'm the same way. Well, like, we'll see. Maybe, maybe we'll just wait. <laughs> yep. Oh, well, there'll be more. Uh, but yeah, thanks for coming in, everyone. I know we've been doing somewhat shorter episodes, but there's just less stuff to talk about lately with nothing yeah. going on, and yeah. you know, running late today, uh, as well as, uh, got other good stuff to do because I gotta go run to the store before it closes oh, yeah like eight and seven or six today mm -hmm. <laughs> like but uh yeah so. that was a good one so we will catch you guys next time on comic combos this has been episode 105 and thanks for watching just swim my mind stuck on grind getting dizzy if you down